for mirror driving, but he's going to be mirror driving. Oh, Stewart's trying to squeeze right there, in there. Eddie. See that hand? Shove to the bottom. Oh, that hand? Just wanted to touch him, man. Just wanted to touch him. Can't get him to the high side. Outside. Here he comes. No, there he goes. He goes. Push oh, the wall. Here God. comes Stewart to the checkered Tony flag. Stewart. And another one gets in the you know, backside. It's Casey Kane. And they're scattering oh, everywhere as they come to the line. Some of these guys hit hard, man. And one of them was Kyle Busch. They're still hitting hard. If he could have just put his bumper to him just a little bit and got and him loose him up. and slid him up the racetrack, you see him right here. He drives right to that corner right here. When he makes that turn, boom, I want to be right on that 18's corner and force him up the racetrack right there. Okay, now, now Kyle's blocks, hanging on, he blocks, but he's going to he block. Back, and it just ran himself he over blocked, the 14. Block. And here's what happened. Just like we talked about at Talladega and everybody talked about, block me once. That's okay. Block yeah. me twice, you're going up in the grandstands yeah. or you're going in the wall. And that's what happened. The 18 made two swipes at him. One to the inside, one to the outside. Yeah, this one's fair right here. This one, this one's not he kind of had it coming. Yeah, he had that one coming. When you cut back across the, the hood of somebody after you've blocked him once, and Tony, once he blocked, Tony put the bumper on the outside of him. He was there. Bobby Labonte pushing through. Junior to the outside of Mayfield for third. Seven's coming with you. Seven's coming. Seven's Mike Wallace coming is coming you. with him. We can hear Ty Norris telling him, you got help on the outside, Junior. There's Blaney Block in the 93. What about Benson? They're going to stay on the bottom of the racetrack. I think they're going to give the outside to Junior. Jeff Gordon getting black flag by NASCAR. Jr. to the outside of Dave Blaney for second spot. Mayfield pushes him along in the draft. Still there, still there. To the outside for the lead in turn four. Still Dale Earnhardt Jr. Still there. rockets to the front still of there. Daytona. Listen to the crowd. And look at this crowd behind him. Look at this race behind him. And Tony Stewart gets going underneath the yellow line. Tony Stewart will be black flagged by NASCAR. Black flag for Tony Stewart for going below the out-of-bounds line. You're all clear, all clear. And Tony Stewart is in second spot with a million dollars on the line. Now, two team cars race in the one and two positions. That's who Dale needs to see in his rearview mirror right now. That's the best thing he can see. Will Michael Walter block for Dale Jr.? Will he try to win the race himself? White flag is out. Final lap at Daytona. 180,000 on their feet, screaming wildly. Two and a half miles to go. Just exactly the opposite of the Daytona 500. It was 15 and 8. Elliot Sandler is trying to keep Bobby Labonte behind. He can't do it. But he does move down in front of Rusty Wallace on that fast line. Body looking for some help, trying to get up there. His teammate Tony Stewart has never answered the black flag. And they're four wide back between the Wallace boys. Here they come, turn four, final lap of the Pepsi 400. Michael Waltrip in second, but it's going to be Dale Earnhardt Jr. using lessons learned from his father to go from sixth to first and score the victory of the Pepsi 400. That's unbelievable. Yes. Man, you did it, boy. Yes. You guys celebrate. You love you, man. You did it. That was beautiful. Very, very nice. He faked the move to the inside. Will he have a drafting partner? He's now even going on Bobby Lamonte. He's got John Andretti up there and, and other cars that are falling on that outside line there now. That inside has not been protected the way it was. Close to last time we had this many different leaders. We saw a first-time winner. Whoa! He is on the grass. He really was on the grass, folks. And he didn't have mud tires. He was... Wow. At 190 miles per hour, he was on the grass in the back stretch. Earnhardt trying to come up through the middle. And Skinner has taken the lead. Going in turn three, it's Skinner with the lead. 37 lead changes, 21 different drivers. Mark Martin trying to plow his way through a minefield of race cars at 190 miles an hour, and here comes Earnhardt. How did he get through all these cars? <laughs> How he did that? The Intimidator is scraped and beaten to the right side, but he will not be denied. 
missed the restrictor plate. Knows there are two left to go. Arnold drives to the high side of Bobby Lovato. Wow. You see him motioning. He's motioning the 55 car of Kenny Wallace. Give me a bump. Come on, Kenny. Give me a jump. And Earnhardt is going for the lead. And listen to this crowd of 170,000 strong. Richard Chambers makes his dive for the one clear as he comes for the white flag. Oh, Earnhardt loose. Real speed right on the inside, so he's got to go back in. He's on the apron of the racetrack, man. He saves the race car up almost against Bobby Labonte. Dale Earnhardt Sr. has come from 17th spot in four laps to lead it on the final lap. But Kenny Wallet is in second spot, followed by his teammate, Joe Nemechek. Nemechek was the pole center, and Kenny Wallace had likewise never won a Winston Cup race. Three Chevrolet for the final lap at Talladega. 2.7 million and a million dollar bonus for Dale Earnhardt if he can hang on. The no ball five contender, Mr. Restricted Place, Dale Earnhardt, comes down and will take his tenth career victory at Talladega. And the Winston Five Rick. The crash has been taking place this year. Slipping and sliding everywhere across the racetrack as it's goes. Craven gets that high right out next to that wall. Watch. Right there. Close. Right there in the middle. Cuts down. He's going to make a down. He's going to get down under him. That's not the way to do it. I don't know. Come on, baby. Come on. Side by side. Two laps to go. Somebody's got a gill getting into turn one. Nobody. And in the wall goes Bush. That's not, that was not a very good idea. Looked across over move, he got into it. Come on, Blair. Good job, man. Hang in there. And here comes Blaney. Blaney oh, is oh. now the best car on the track. Oh, baby. I'm telling you, Kurt Busch is not going to give up the win. No, he's not. They'll be coming to the white flag this time. Ricky Craven's not going to give up either. Come on, Ricky. He gets that right on the high side right there. Kurt Busch is like he's baby. struggling with his race car. Here he comes. Here we go again. He's going to wait on him. He's going to put the crossover on him. He realized that wasn't a good move that last time. White flag. Here he goes. He's going to try to slide under him here. Come on, baby. And Blaney's coming. Both these cars are driving terrible right now. Nah. Half a lap to go. Nah, they're driving good. Come on, baby. You can do it on this end of the speedway. Come off the four and get up alongside of him. Half a mile here to go. Here he comes. Here he comes. Who's going to get off the Here he comes. Here he comes. He's got him this time. It's going to be a drag race. Whoa! Wow. They touch. They touch. Craven got him. Craven got him. Craven got him. And Craven. All right. What a finish. Have you ever? No, I've never. Wow. Uh, what a finish. <laughs> that is coming off turn four onto the front stretch. That's about as close as it'll get right there. And this right here, I don't know what kept them from both wadding them up down here in turn t uh, turn one, but bam, oh boy, Craven really shot out into it. Martin, Bush, Biffle, Gilliland, Sadler, green flag. I don't believe he can wait very long, Larry. I believe if you're going to make the move, you got to make it quick. I don't think he can wait too long. If they're going to get him, they need to jump to the outside right away. You know he's not going to give up the bottom, so you've got to go to the outside. Look at the outside line. Jeff Gordon in that 24 car with his teammate Casey Mears, but Casey leaves him out there. Now, one back, off to the file behind you. He's coming hard about half back now. Now, when these guys on the outside, when they get side by side with these other cars, they're done. We're coming to the white flag. It's up to the five of Kyle Busch. How long can he wait if he's going to go? Still single file. White flag, one lap to go. To the white man, coming to 
Bob Front Bob four, single foul. There they go. They got to go. They got to get Mark. Mark they got to move him somehow. Five. He gets back to that yellow line right around the bottom, all the way through turn one and two. Mark single Martin foul. is driving the race of his life, and there's nobody that's better at and holding people off at Daytona. And Kyle there, Bush lagged back a little bit. Is he right going to get help? Is he going to come? He's looking. Back behind you. Almost, he almost squeezed Harvick into the wall, and here comes Harvick, the 29, Coming with Matt outside. Kenseth. Oh, Mark Coming got outside. loose. Mark, Mark got loose. Get and down. Harvick's getting a run off turn four. It's going to be a drag race all the way back to the start-finish line. No caution. They're side by side, right to the line. Big crash. Here they come. Checkered flag. Harvick. Kevin Harvick wins the Daytona 500. We got one car and there's still, on his roof coming across the start finish line. They're still wrecking. Boyer. They're wrecking everywhere. Boyer's on fire. Jeff Gordon's wrecked. And they Montoya. are still wrecking. Montoya, Stremme, Kenseth, Biffle, Marlin, Carl Edwards, Casey Mears all crashed on the final lap. Have you ever? Well, a couple of times. I'm going to repeat what I heard a few years ago. No, I have never. <laughs> I got so excited I broke the damn 